Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the South Florida Bulls and the Houston Cougars. Number three is brings a much-needed presence from a senior player to the court. He's a senior player that brings a professional attitude to the floor. The Cougars will clearly rely on him to make contributions on both ends of the floor. The Cougars should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. Number one, it's up to the point guard to be the leader, to control the entire tempo of the game. Secondly, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. And lastly, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He uses the shot fake. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. They still don't score. Both teams looking to get things going here. Hardy receives the ball. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Kicks it out. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Rims out. Aggressively grabs the ball. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. The power forward receives the pass. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. There's the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. He'll regroup the offense. He puts up the tray. Makes the shot. Show me that one again. They work the perimeter, jumped in front to take it away. Inside, the power forward handles the pass. Pass down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Had a momentary look from three-point land, makes the block. High post screen, gonna use it. He puts it up. Nice shot. He can't stay with it. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. Inside for two. Perfectly executed. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They'll work it around the arc. There's a double team waiting there. Hardy, four, two. Two. Ball handler's in trouble. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket.
Trying to pack it inside for the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Fed the low block. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Manley handles the feed. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Steals a pass. Here's a double team. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? From the top of the circle. Goes, and it's good from outside the arc. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He strokes it, goes in. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Up and inside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the outside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He puts it in with contact and all. This just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Thinks about the shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Fakes the jumper. Comes up with it. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. From beyond the arc, South Florida are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play.
Working it around the perimeter. Postel makes a great... He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Free throw is good. Poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with his deck. Where's he going? Looking for the foul. And he scores despite the hat. <laughs> on the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. Entry pass in the paint. Goes up for two. Double team now, bad angle. Stop and pop. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all in them some. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. Dick, he's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He shoots from right of the circle. Drains the shot. Stolen away. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Good job defensively. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They've got a player spotting up on the three. The skip pass is picked off. For two. Doesn't go. Trying to draw some contact. Working around the perimeter. Definitely a foul. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. All right, thanks, Aaron. And he missed. Both teams looking to get things going here. Number 32 with the fake. Pump fakes. With a little baby hook. And off the mark. Trying to draw the foul. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Houston have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Moving it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards out there. Yeah, that helps. Oh. 
tries to get the D to bite. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. They work it around the perimeter. On the outside. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The Bulls have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. And it's stolen away. Working it around the perimeter. On the outside. Wants a three. Great shot. Hardy is feeling great out there right now. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Gave it up. Up fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Look at him now, Dick, celebrating with a cheerleader. Now that's a spectacle. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Goes up for two. They still don't score. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He looks for the bomb. Goes. Let's get another look, Brad. Top of the circle. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. Going to move it around the perimeter. He attempts the trifecta. Three balls paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. All their bills are getting paid from New York, baby. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a good shot. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He shoots from the angle. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. This crowd will go crazy if they get a shot to go down here. Dumping inside. Got the shot if he wants it. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. out of play. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Hardy, Hardy four, two. Two. He pulls the trigger. Off the rim and no good. 
Hey, Brad, a stop here will definitely raise the decibel level. Picked out of the air. They work the perimeter. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Tries for two. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The student body is rocking tonight. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. They'll work it around the arc. Jumps in. Got to make that baby. Had that wide open angle. Had a chance to lay it on a glass for an easy deuce. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm telling you, three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Tries for two. Knocked it down. Gave it up. Here's the three ball. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. <laughs> takes away the pass. The kick out. He takes the shot. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Controlling the ball. He unloads a three. Way off target. Basket falls despite the contact. Stolen away. Fast break opportunity here. For the bucket, scorches the net. Looking for a good shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. Goes up for two. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. I'd celebrate, too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. At halftime, the Cougars are behind by three. Now, let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the hat. Houston just couldn't seem to stop turning the ball over in that first half, Dick. Hey, if you ask me, these guys haven't clued on the magnitude of this game yet. They need to take care of the ball from here on in, or they have no shot, and they'll be running lots of laps tomorrow in practice. 
Our focus player update, Dick Vitale, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? I think they ought to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. He goes with a jump hook, and he missed. Look at that student body. They are going mad. Isn't it great, Brad? He goes for three. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Fakes the shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Inside. On the outside. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Almost lost the basketball. Ten seconds to put up a shot. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Leans in. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Looks at a three. Gets it to go. Goes out of bounds. With a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Puts it up, looking for contact. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. There's the trap. Up and inside. There's a double team waiting there. Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Let's go to the instant replay, camera. Gave it up. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Looking for a good shot. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all.
Goes up for two. And off the mark. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, I don't know if the glass is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. Trying to draw some contact, and he scores despite the hack. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Burris draws the personal. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. He goes to the free throw line. He makes the first shot. Both free throws go. Here's a double team. Now they work it around the perimeter. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatching. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. He buries the shot. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. From way outside. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but nylon. It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. They're working around the perimeter. Shoots. Way off target. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Accepts it. Burris picks up the foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. They're working around the arc. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Well, the energy in here is electrifying. Entry pass in the paint. 
That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Hard foul. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And they come with a double team to stop it. He draws a foul. On the inside, trying to draw the foul. Contact causes the shot to come off. Look at that spacing. Hostel is receiving lots of love from the crowd. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Put that screen away. Gets a hand in the way. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Cross court. From three-point territory. Ten on the shot clock. seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He rejects it. The ball goes out of play. Here's a flash from the high post. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. He tries to knock down the three. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Nick. That he's on fire. Gave it up. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. You can't be that. Got it. The senior leader showing no fear. He got the basket plus the foul. He's relentless, baby. Big time basket and foul. He'll go to the line. Makes the shot. Side. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in the player. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. He missed it. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. 
for two. Houston is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the dribble, gives it up. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Off the rim and no good. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. On the outside. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The Cougars are ahead by 13. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. They're lucky right now, my goodness. Pass down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Jumps in. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. He gets that one to fall. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it does and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They work it around the perimeter. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. And he'll kick it back outside. High post screen. Gets it to fall. The Cougars are up by 12. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Two with a lay-in. Roll it back again, fellas. Working it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. They'll work it around the arc. Puts up the jumper. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Puts up the shot. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. Picked out of the air. For three, he drains the bucket. Picked off, gave it up.
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. He shoots from right of the circle. Whitehead buries the tray. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. They work the perimeter. Tries for two. They still don't score. He lets it go. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He tries the three. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Look at that spacing. Way out on top, controlling the ball. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. The ma'am is off the charts, Brad. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Double team now, bad angle. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. From the top of the circle, he drains the three. We need an instant replay for this one. Moving it around the perimeter. Wide open for the shot. Obvious foul. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dunn steps to the line for the first time. Buries it. Sinks it. They want to talk about it right here, Dick. They got to find a way to chip it for this lead before it's too late. Back to the action now in the half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Well, the lead is 10, Dick. Are you starting to hear the fat lady? Well, Brad, she could be warming up right now. Steals the pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter on the outside. Looking for a good shot. Up and inside. Gets it back out. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws.
That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. They need to foul here. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. He is going to the line. Have to make the free throw. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. a little change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. We'll take the shot. The Bulls have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. He steps up to the line. Makes the shot. second on the dribble gives it up they get that rejected he rips the nets for another score he's absolutely Four. unconscious wow man that stops the clock again nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock at the free throw line Sinks it. He gets them both. Now they work it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Houston comes away with the W in this matchup. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.